Hi, today I'm going to show you how to spin a fully managed production and ready Redis cluster in minutes. Right now I'm in my cloud dashboard and I'm going to use the create option databases. I need to choose the database engine. We have access to PostgreSQL, MySQL, and for the sake of that demo, I will choose Redis. Right now we are supporting version five. When we're gonna support more version, you're gonna be able to select which ones you want to install. Secondly, I need to choose the cluster configuration I want. Let me choose the second node plan, which will give me 1.5 gigabyte of usable RAM with one virtual CPU. I can also create a standby node, which is optional but will be used as a fallback if anything happened to my main node. Next option, I need to choose the data center where my cluster will be. It's a good practice to put Redis on a data center where your main node or the multiple node that will access Redis are. It's also a good practice to put the cluster where most of your customers are. If you want to see which droplets is where, you can highlight the text under some of those data centers where you have droplet and you're gonna be able to see the detail. In my case, I have one droplet in NYC3. So this is where I'm gonna put my Redis cluster. Finally, I can choose a unique database cluster name if I want to, and select the project where my cluster is gonna be created. I will click create a database cluster, and this is where the magic will happen. So within five minutes, your Redis cluster will be created. But during that time, we have a tutorial to help you to configure your clusters, but also get more information about it. So let's get started. First option is to restrict inbound connection to your clusters. Right now, the default configuration allow any sources to connect to your Redis database, which is not something you want to. In my case, I'm gonna add my computer as a trusted source because I want to access Redis from my computer. It would be also a good thing to add the droplet that will access your Redis instance. I will click allow these inbound source only and by doing that, my instance is gonna be more secure because only the inbound connection that I decided will be able to access my Redis cluster. On that screen, you need to decide what's gonna happen when the Redis database memory is full. By default, the policy is no eviction, which means that no data will be evicted, but Redis will return an error if the memory limit is reached. For the sake of that demo, let's keep that option. This step is more about giving you information about your database cluster and how you can connect to it. There is the connection parameters when you can get username, password, host, and port. The second one is the same information provided in a different format as a connection string. And the last one, same thing, has flags, which I will use to connect to my Redis cluster from my terminal. So I will copy this, click continue, and I am on the last step of the getting started guide would give me two options. First one is to choose a time for automatic update. So one of the benefits of using database as a service on DigitalOcean is that you won't have to manage updates for your Redis database. We will do it for you. But you need to choose a specific time frame where those updates are gonna be applied. Don't expect any downtime during those updates, but you may see a slower connection. The second option is about backup. And for now, we're gonna run backup for you right after you created that instance. Now that my database has been created, I'm in the overview page where I can see most of the information about my Redis instance. Soon, you'll have access to the Insights tab where you're gonna see graph and different numbers about health of your instance. You can also view the logs online directly from your cloud dashboard. And you have access to the setting page, which is where you're going to be able to change the cluster configuration, move your Redis database to your new data center, change the eviction policy, had remove or edit trusted sources, changing the maintenance window, and destroy the database cluster if you don't need it anymore. So now that my database has been created, let me go in my terminal and I will paste the flags connection string that I copied before directly in my terminal, which will give me access to my Redis instance. So that's it for the database as a service, digital ocean offering around Redis. If you want to try Redis today, go at do.co slash db. If you have any question, please check the documentation and the tutorials, or you can also ask questions on the Q&A on the community site.